Hello there, it's Diorama Don here. Welcome everybody. Um, in my previous video, um, I, I made a building with, with cornerstones, or coins as they're called, uh, on the corner of the building. Um, obviously if you buy a resin or plastic kit, then uh, the coins are already done for you. You don't have to worry about it. But if you're modelling uh, from scratch, and you're making a building of some kind, um, I just thought this was an easy way of making those corner stones. So we'll assume that this is the, the corner of my building and however high it is, whatever height you make your building, um, make it divisible by half an inch. So in this case it's five inches or it could be five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half and so on. Um, that's uh, 12 millimetres, so 12, yeah, so divisible by 12 millimetres, or half an inch. Um, so I, I've cut this piece of 2 millimetre cardboard, the height of the, the same height as the, the building that I want the cornerstones on, and um, it's, it's 5 inches, whatever 5 inches is, uh, 12, almost 13 centimetres, just a bit, un <laughs> very accurate, a bit under 13 centimetres. Okay, so I've made it the width of my ruler, which just happens to be an inch and one eighth, which is uh, 28 millimetres. Okay, so draw a centre line down the middle. Um, then with a very sharp knife, score that center line so that you can bend the cardboard at 90 degrees. You have to bend it beyond so that it folds back to 90. So that will sit very nicely on your corner like so. Okay, then measure 3 eighths of an inch either side of the center line like so. So you've got a line 3 eighths of an inch from there and then uh, divide the whole thing into half inch or 12 millimeter sections okay uh, half an inch or 12 millimeters 135 scale that would make each stone about 17 inches which is a bit big really but uh, it, it's not too bad a, a scale so once you've got that, you've got your three eighths there and then your half an inch all along there, then just cut out those sections, those sections there alternately, and then alternate sections this side. So uh, that section out there, and then alternately that section out there, so that when you bend your card then you've got your coins already done and it's just a case of sticking that on there instead of making each coin separately um, it, it may be obvious an, an obvious way of doing this to some people but I have a, <laughs> I've only just discovered it how easy it is um, so I'll stick this on here and give it a coat of um, white wall filler, like I normally do, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So I stuck my cornerstones onto my building, hot melt glue, nice and easy. Uh, where the gap was, where you scored down and then bent the cardboard, all I did was, was put some um, filler in the crack there, and then with the uh, finger and thumb just bring your finger down like that and it makes a nice sharp corner again as it should be okay <laughs> uh, then the rest of it I just uh, painted over with watered down wall filler so now I've got a basis for finishing off the same as it's the same now as you would if you had a resin kit uh, now you would have to, to paint it to however you wanted it so I'll, I'll do that anyway. I'll finish off 
so it, uh, the cornerstones stand out a bit from the rest of the, the building and uh, come back and we'll see what it looks like then. So I finished it off and uh, as you know I, I tend to use tile grouts rather than paints because um, when, when you mix the water with the powder you can get quite a thick consistency so you can you can make a, a, a like a rough render for the building and also on the uh, the cornerstones themselves just just by stippling with the uh, end of the brush to get that effect just looks a little bit more realistic I think rather than just a, a flat uh, base color okay so anyway that's the idea um, what you could do if you so wanted uh, before you stuck uh, stuck your cornerstones on um, you've got your score down the middle and you've cut out your shapes of the stones but what you could also do is with a sharp knife again cut out a groove 45 degree groove that way turn it round cut the same same the other way until you've got those shapes between the stones so that when when they go on it looks like individual stones like I say it, it, it is a little bit more fiddly uh, although it, I think it does look a little little more authentic a bit better uh, which is what I did on my building there so you can see that they look like individual stones which is what they were or are Okay, so just an idea, if you are model making yourself, um, it's just a quick way of uh, making corners of buildings and uh, it just makes the, the, the buildings look more appropriate and um, outstanding, just rather than just a, a 90 degree corner, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, okay, I'll leave it with you. Have a go yourselves. See how you get on. That's all you need. Just a bit of cardboard like that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. And you'll be, you'll be informed of revelationary new ideas in the future. Um, yeah, click the uh, notification bells, uh, share button, the like button. And if you so are inclined, then uh, I've also initiated the um, thanks button. Uh, help pay for new cardboard. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching this. Just a short one, this one. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, I wish you the very best of happy modelling. <laughs>